we made a lot of our own moments. We we went to Black Belt Magazine and, and advertised full page ads in color. No one had ever done that. Um, and I had to beg. I, I, had to, I had to beg for two reasons. One was I didn't have any money. And so I had to get Black Belt Magazine to do it on credit. And that was that was the hardest part and it, it was that. Then we, we produced ads. Um, eventually Mr. Norris came and, and participated with us for about 20 years. And he's, he's I mean, unofficially still around with us. We, we changed the world a little at a time there. Um, mail order ads, you actually clip the coupon out of the magazine, go buy a money order, send it to us, tell us your size, measure, et cetera. And I would figure out that there's about eight steps there where anybody could stop the process of ordering a uniform from us. And, and we were selling what then was considered fancy uniforms. They, it was the 70s, they had bell-bottom pants, go figure. Uh, so we shortcutted that by accepting credit cards. No one in this industry had ever done that. Believe it or not, there was a world before credit cards. But we, we shortcutted it even more by uh, purchasing an 800 number from the phone company. No one had done that before. You could actually call, and we said rush orders call 1 800. Well, any order is a rush order. And then you could call 1 800 and uh, give us a credit card. It was great. Uh, business boomed. Uh, we needed to differentiate ourselves. We decided to do it by having a superior service. That was one thing we could work harder and just give people good service. Uh, the second thing was quality, guaranteed quality. You know, it, it's, it's only fair to the customer to give them their money's worth and, and, and more. Uh, yeah. and, and we've always strived to give a fair price. Business on, on those three tenants, um, but we always love martial arts. And I, you know, there's, I don't know how many people in this building today, 250 or so, maybe 300. Uh, you know, I, I don't know how many black belts there are, but there's certainly a hundred martial artists and there's lots of black belts and every one of them has an opportunity to contribute to what we're doing, both in, in their service and their work and in their ideas. But for me, if someone said I could have a business where I made a, a reasonable living, surrounded myself with all these people that love the same things I do, I spend the day around the sport I've loved my whole life, you know, I, I, you don't have to pay me, I do it for free.